we are first of many, many 3.30 games, so buckle in, boys. we got a really good 3.30 slate. we got Wisconsin, who's 2-1, and one, traveling to number 13, USC, who's 2-1. and one. USC fair by 15.5 on CBS. Tyler Van Dyke has gone 43-68, of 68, thrown for 422 yards, one touchdown, zero interception, but 07. Tyler Van Dyke, because his season ended against Alabama two weeks ago. We haven't gotten to talk about it because Wisconsin hasn't been playing, but um, it's a rough loss for the Wisconsin Badgers. Ches Malusi has had 46 carries for 200 yards and three touchdowns, and Will Pauling's had 19 catches for 191 yards and a touchdown. Miller Moss for the Trojans has gone 76-117, threw for 890 yards, five touchdowns, one interception. Woody Marks had 42 carries for 271 yards and three touchdowns, and Zachariah Branch had 14 carries for 14 catches for 173 yards. Uh, USC is six and one against Scani all time. Last game to go to Wisconsin in 2015, though. Wisconsin has never gone on the road and beaten USC in the Coliseum. They're 0 and 4 at USC, um, and USC is three and one in one possession football games against Wisconsin. <sighs> um, both these teams are coming off rough losses. Now, Wisconsin happened two weeks ago, so a little bit time more time to wrap your head around it. And honestly, you probably, if you're a Wisconsin fan, you probably expected to lose to Alabama. But I don't think you expected to lose your starting quarterback. And Tyler Van Dyke was having actually a pretty good solid start to the year before he got hurt. And it just really hurts if you're a Scotty fan. USC is coming off a rough loss simply because you fought back so hard, right? It looked like USC at the beginning of the game, and really at halftime, they didn't have much going on. And it looked like Washington, Michigan was going to get an easy win. And then USC fought all the way back to take the lead, and then they just let Michigan drive down the field really, really quickly with Mullins. And it's just like, it sucks that you lost to a team with only 31 passing yards, but honestly, USC played a hell of a game. They really fought back, and they honestly had a chance to win that game. Um, USC is still a really good football team. I think they're going to be upset that they had a loss. They're going back to the Coliseum, especially if you had a chance to beat Michigan in the big house, and you didn't close it out. Michigan, I mean, USC is still a really good football team. This is still a football team that I think will end up making the college football playoffs. USC has a hell of a team built together. I think this is going to be a really good squad. I think they, this is an elimination game. One of these teams will be eliminated this week. I think it's going to be Scani. Uh, USC is a really good football team, and I think they show it in this game. Give me USC to win and cover at home.